Everybody, can I have your attention, please? Can everybody get seated, and then we'll get the uh, ceremony started. Everybody on my left, that includes you, Junior, and everybody on my right, everybody have a seat. That includes you, Junior, and uh, <laughs> right now I'm your dad. <laughs> All right. How you doing, everybody? Oh, man. Is this fun? All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Edgar Martinez Statue Unveiling Ceremony. This is such a wonderful day for the Mariners organization, its fans, and the entire Seattle sports community. This statue will become a popular meeting place for fans right here on Edgar Martinez Drive, a statue and a road. Today as we hold this unveiling ceremony, due to the street noise, there's a chance I may need to pause from time to time, so please bear with me. But it's my pleasure to welcome Edgar, his wife Holly, their son Alex, and their daughters Tessa and Jacqueline J. I'd also like to welcome Edgar's brother Elliot, Elliot's wife Mary, and their children Elianelle and Mary Ellis. <laughs> In addition, welcome to the members of the Mariners Partnership Group, front office, members of the media, and other friends of the Seattle Mariners Baseball Club. Also with us today, Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. and his wife, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Mariners Hall of Famer Dan Wilson and his wife, Annie. My sweetheart, Marilyn Niehaus, and her daughter, Greta. As well as Mariners General Manager, Jerry DePono, Mariners skipper, Scott Service, and former Mariners catcher, and now Root Sports and Major League Baseball broadcaster, Dave Valley. We are thrilled to have with us today as well, the Mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin. Hi, Jenny. Deputy Mayor Mike Fong, as well as King County Council Member Joe McDermott. And we welcome and thank talented artist Lou Sella. This guy is a genius from the fine art studio of Rotblatt Amrani for joining us here today and for his terrific work and attention to detail. Lou is the artist who sculpted the Dave Niehaus and Ken Griffey Jr. statues right here at T-Mobile Park. Lou, thank you so much for all of your hard work. We sincerely appreciate it. Now, as you all know, Edgar was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame back in 2019. Following his induction during a pregame ceremony right here at T-Mobile Park, Mariners Chairman and Managing Partner John Stanton announced that a statue in Edgar's honor would be unveiled right here on Edgar Martinez Drive. Today, we finally come together to share this wonderful statue with Mariners fans from throughout the Northwest and really around the world, and especially Puerto Rico. Edgar played his entire career with the Seattle Mariners. He met Holly right here in Seattle, thank goodness, and he and Holly raised their family in our community. Edgar was the quiet leader in the clubhouse and a force that anchored the middle of the Mariners lineup for years. Talk to any pitcher who faced Edgar, and they're gonna tell you, Edgar was one of the toughest outs in the game of baseball. Now his journey to Cooperstown may have taken a little while. Why it took so long, I don't know, because when he walked off the field in 2004, he was a Hall of Famer. But the destination was oh so sweet. It was such a memorable day back in July of 2019, when thousands of Mariner fans flooded the charming upstate New York village to celebrate Edgar. Today, we will unveil this larger-than-life tribute to Edgar, and from this day forward, Mariner fans will be able to stop by this statue and share stories of Edgar's legendary prowess on the baseball diamond. Edgar, congratulations on another well-deserved honor, and thank you for always representing the Mariners organization in a first-class manner. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Mariners chairman and managing partner, John Stanton. John. Mike up. 
Thanks, Rick. What a wonderful occasion this is. We're here once again to honor Edgar Martinez, a lifelong Mariner. Thank you so much for bringing us together once again, Edgar. I'd like to welcome you all and thank you all for being here today. But before I begin, I just want to thank an awful lot of people that played roles in making today possible. Our operations team and our marketing team have worked for two years to make this happen. I particularly want to honor and recognize Kevin Martinez for having made this a personal project and a one of love. He uh, was there at the beginning of the conception of the statue two years ago, and he was here at 3 o'clock in the morning last night getting it installed. Thank you, Kevin. In, in a moment, we'll do the big reveal, but I just wanted to give you a brief oral tour of the statue. The statue itself captures Edgar's iconic swing, easy and yet powerful. It brings to life a photo that was actually taken on October 8, 1995, the, in the Division Championship Series, and Edgar's hitting the double. The moment is frozen in time with Edgar's image bookending this entrance to T-Mobile Park with Ken Griffey Jr.'s statue just 100 feet away. The statue rests on a 13,700-pound granite pedestal. We actually measured it. There were inscriptions on all four sides. On the front, the inscription simply says, Edgar Martinez, Seattle Mariners, 1987 to 2004. This inscription is a testament to Edgar's long career, but his career actually began before 1987 when he first signed as a 19-year-old in Puerto Rico in December of 1982. And Edgar today continues to be a fixture in our clubhouse, in our batting cages, and behind the screen at T-Mobile Park before, during batting practice. For five years, Edgar worked his way through the minor leagues, making stops in Wausau, Wisconsin, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Alberta, Canada. In 2,842 minor league plate appearances, Edgar learned perseverance and dedication. Edgar made his major league debut on September 12, 1987. The left side of the statue foundation symbolizes Edgar's leadership on the field. It says, the best right-handed hitter of his era, Gar, played his entire 18-year career in Seattle. The double he hit to win the 1995 American League Division Series was one of the most memorable moments in Seattle sports history. He was inducted as a Mariner in the National Baseball Hall of Fame on July 21st, 2019. We all know that Edgar became a fixture in the lineup in 1990. You could literally write his name in to the lineup card every night for 2,055 games, more than any other player in the history of the franchise. The right side of the foundation represents Edgar's achievements on the field. Two American League batting titles, seven-time All-Star, five Silver Slugger Awards, five Outstanding Designated Hitter of the Year Awards. This award was later renamed in his honor upon his retirement. The Roberto Clemente Award from MLB for Community Service in 2004, and he was inducted into the Mariners Hall of Fame in 2007. We also all know that Edgar faced some adversity when he tore his hamstring during an exhibition game in Vancouver, BC, just before the beginning of the 1993 season. That forced Edgar to reinvent himself as a 31-year-old. Upon his retirement, Commissioner Seelig renamed the designated hitter award in his honor because Edgar Martinez, in his words, literally defined the position of DH. The Roberto Clemente Award named for another great son of Puerto Rico, recognized Edgar's dedication to the community. 
He made his life here. He made the best decision of his life here marrying Holly. They dedicated themselves to charity after charity in this community. Finally, the back of the foundation simply says, number 11. On August 12, 2017, his number was retired by the Mariners. When we retired his number, I noted that we didn't really retire it. Edgar just simply wore that out. He retired at the age of 41 in 2004. In 2015, he became our hitting coach for three and a half years. Edgar personally played or coached in more games than any person in the history of the Seattle Mariners, a total of 3,321 games as a minor leaguer, as a major leaguer, and as a coach. I dare say, Edgar, you are the Iron Man of the Seattle Mariners. At this time, I'd like to invite Edgar and Ken Griffey Jr. to join me up on stage so we can reveal the third statue in Seattle Mariners history. Gentlemen. And now, don't get comfortable, Edgar. <laughs> Here he is, Hall of Famer, and our guest of honor, Edgar Martinez. Thank you, Rick and John, uh, for those kind words. Uh, I wanted to thank the organization, the Mariners organization, uh, for an amazing uh, honor. Uh, also, two years ago, and uh, for the celebration of the Hall of Fame induction uh, in Cooperstown, we had a great party that I never forget. I will never forget it. And my family there, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Thank you, I wanted to thank some people here. Uh, great to see Jerry and Scott, thank you for being here. I know you guys are very busy these days, but thank you for being here. John Ellis, Howard, Lincoln, Chuck, and Susan, thank you for being here. And Buck, Ferguson, and the whole uh, ownership, thank you. You know, when I, uh, was in Puerto Rico as a kid. I was dreaming about being like Roberto Clemente. I wanted to be a star. I had the dream and I dream every day. I was hitting rock, rocks in the, my grandfather's backyard, hitting doubles, home runs, never made outs. I wanted to be uh, like Roberto Clemente, that dream of mine in some way had become reality. But in that dream, I never thought about having a statue with my name on it. So thank you. <laughs> Marilyn Needhouse. Uh, it's an honor to have my statue at uh, T-Mobile Park with Niehaus, a statue, Dave Niehaus. Great to see Annie and Dan Wilson. 
here. Thank you for being here. Dave and Biggie, thank you for being here. Ken Griffey Jr. and Melissa, thank you for being here. And Junior, it's a great honor to have a statue here along yours in Timoa Park. Again, thank you all of you for being here, and uh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. The Hall of Famer, Edgar Martinez, greatest right-handed hitter I've ever seen in the game of baseball. Got to tell you a little story. Back in 2004, Edgar's final year in the big leagues with the Mariners, all of them with the Mariners, we went to Pittsburgh, where Roberto Clemente starred for many years and became a Hall of Famer. Young man from Puerto Rico, Edgar Martinez. Want, you know, I wanted Edgar to see Roberto Clemente statue. It's out in the plaza there at PNC Park. So Kevin Kremen and I, and Dave Valley, and Tim Hevely, we said, Edgar, you have to walk out to the statue and see your hero and have a picture taken with your hero, the great Roberto Clemente. So we went out there and we all had a picture and it really, I think, had an impact with Edgar because he grew up idolizing Roberto Clemente, who had a statue at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. And now here he is, a young man from Puerto Rico who has his own statue right here on Edgar Martinez Drive. This is absolutely unbelievable. Edgar, that was wonderful to share that moment with you in Pittsburgh with a picture and the statue of Roberto Clemente, and now you're here. So kids will enjoy that statue in Pittsburgh, and all the kids and all the grown-ups will enjoy your statue, along with Junior's, along with Dave Niehaus's statue here at T-Mobile Park. So an unbelievable day here at uh, T-Mobile. Thank you for coming, everybody. Enjoy the Edgar Martinez statue. Feel free to stick around and take photos, and thanks so much for being with us this afternoon for the media. In a few minutes, Edgar and sculptor Lou Sella is going to be available inside the Ellis Pavilion for interviews. Remember, there's a lunch reception upstairs on the Trident deck, and we will see you here tonight for our game against the Texas Rangers. Thanks for being a big part of this historic day for our great friend and poppy, Edgar Martinez, honoring Edgar, and enjoy the rest of the afternoon, everybody. How about a nice round of applause for Edgar Martinez and his family. Poppy, congratulations. We love you, buddy.